Hey, I just wanted to come tell y'all that a lot of people who have COVID. Princess, you gonna say hi in the background? Hi. hi. I've already recorded this a few times, so I can't pan it back to her now. A second ago, I did it. But yeah, a lot of people who have COVID got life messed up. But how? I can't. I can't. I can't. Sorry. We be thinking, oh, okay. It's a weird thing because all of a sudden you have time off work. And it's unplanned time. And it's not easy to get time off work, especially now. And you're thinking, oh, I got COVID, okay. So I'll be sick for a couple of days. And when I get better, <laughs> ain't no motherfucking getting better. <laughs> but you think when I get better in a couple of days, I'm going to go to the gym. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do some, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to clean the whole house up. I'm going to take down this Christmas tree that I'm looking at right now. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. No, you're going to lay down. Fever is going to take over your body. No matter how much medicine you take, it's not going to stop. And you're going to suffer. That's what you're going to do. You're not cleaning your house. You're not going to no gym. For one, if you go to the gym, you're going to infect other people, which is so irresponsible. But it's the fever. The fever makes you think things like that that are crazy. <sighs> or I'm thinking, oh, I'm going to exercise around in the house. Mm. Freaking COVID, you're not exercising in your no house. You're going to lay here like this for hours and lose days. <laughs> That's what's happening right now. I'm losing days. I don't know what time it is. I was at work yesterday when I found out. I'm sorry, y'all. I just, I just, I don't even know what I just said. <laughs> ah, um, my lip is like stuck up there like that. Um, tested, had my coworker test me Thursday, came out negative, but I was, it's a cousin girl, I was sick, 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 Thursday, it was like Dana crawled home, used Uber Eats and paid, and paid $30 to get a plate of uh, enchiladas, $30 to have it delivered, that's how sick I am, and knowing I'm about to downgrade my hours, in two months, could not, I'm not in a position to afford that, but the way I felt, I couldn't help it, but I'm sitting up here thinking, well, my COVID test came out negative, I don't have COVID, and so Friday comes, they, they arranged for me to be off, because I would have passed out at work Friday if I was at work, and I think I made that video, well, that's, I don't know what day, I don't know if I made that video Saturday or Sunday, or Friday, it had to be Friday or Saturday, trying to get those crumbles cookies, I had a moment of being extremely high on ibuprofen, antihistamine, and maybe Theraflu. And I thought things were okay. No, things were not okay. I was just very high on over-the-counter medication. So, uh, but then I was going to pay $10 to have them tip them. I was sitting outside of Crumbles. <laughs> And I'm looking at a ten dollar tip to bring the cookies to me. That's I mean, like in these moments, you don't know you're clearly sick when you're willing to do stuff like that. But um, Sunday comes, that lady, you know, the PRN lady called in, so I showed up at work, and I'm kind of just like, it's real late back on the weekend, so I kind of just get through it. And I just keep wanting to go back home and sleep. I'm always tired anyway, so I just didn't notice that something's. Yes, I did. I mean, what am I supposed to do? I got to take care of Princess. I got to take care of myself. And as of Thursday, I was COVID negative. <laughs> Look at my hair. I was COVID negative. So what am I supposed to do? I got to work. So I have to just pretend like I'm fine. In my, even to myself. So anyway. Uh, back to my Monday comes. I'm at work, man. And I'm trying to keep myself calm so I won't feel overwhelmed. Baby, you're making that so hard on yourself. Okay, you got it. Okay, I'm gonna leave you alone. I'm sorry. The Friday Monday comes. Oh yeah, so I'm trying to keep myself calm because I'm like, if you exert yourself, you're gonna freaking pass out. And every time I try to talk, uh, even now I'm talking too loud. I try to talk louder. I feel like I was gonna pass out. Every time I try to walk fast, I feel like I was gonna pass out. And then they did a whole building-wide COVID testing on everybody. 
So, like everybody, you know, I work in senior living. I can say that. I'm not saying where. And they just tested the whole building. And I only speak for me. Uh, and again, not saying my, where I work or nothing like that. So I'm not revealing anything. But I think I was the one of the only employees who have it. I'm cockeyed. I'm slightly cockeyed. Now yeah, I kind of cock. Don't judge me. It's my fault. But anyway, so I think somebody else must have too, though. She just that person just wasn't at work that yesterday, Monday. I don't know what day to that. I, I I don't know. But anyway, so I tested positive, and then I'll just say that I'll just say I tested positive, and then they immediately told me. At first, they're like the person in charge is like, "Oh, it's gonna be okay," and we're laughing together. <laughs> she knew. She knew, she knew I was sick. She just, cause she could tell, but I, I didn't know I was sick. When you, when you sick and really messed up, you don't, you're, you're the only one who's not aware of it. But, um, so anyway, they came out positive. I'm sorry for babbling. I'm so sorry. So they came out positive and I was immediately told to go home. And so I'm, I'm home now and I worked half the day. I worked all the way to two o'clock and they're like, Oh yeah, go home. My baby, my, y'all might as well let me stay. <laughs> I don't work. I think till two. Hell, I don't know. But that's what's going on now. So yeah, we I got it. Princess got it. I'm so crazy. When Princess was vomiting last week for two days, I thought I gave her some spoiled yogurt. And then I was convinced that because of what's happening now with the changes in two months, she was getting nervous. No, because I didn't have any COVID symptoms. And then when I got them, I tested negative. So I didn't think she had it. And then her head started hurting. And so it was obvious. But then I thought, well, okay, she has a flu and I got the flu. But, no. So, that's what we're doing right now. I mean, I don't feel like we're going to end up in the hospital, but it is it is bad. It just feels like, it feels like the cold and flu together, and it feels like it won't stop. Like, when you take medicine, it's supposed to work like six hours. With this thing, the medicine works not even a full four hours. And you just keep drugging your body, and my stomach starts hurting. I guess that's because of the COVID, not because of the... I thought, I'm thinking I have the flu and I'm taking too much medicine. It just, it, it, it's it's a brain fuck. You don't really know what's going on. And my skin feels icky like, and my body feels icky like, like, like a nasty, like gooey spider web. That's the best way I can describe it. That's how the inside of my body feels. Like an icky, gooey, spider, sticky web. That's how I feel. Um... I, I I think we're okay. I think we're going to be okay. Um, this has been going on now. A minute. I don't know. Next week she has a thing where she has to go see and meet with the people for her program. And slowly getting that together. I don't know if I'm going to cancel that or push that to later. I have to figure out right now. Or if by then it will have been the quarantine period. Because even for now my job. Chris, I'm not going to cancel it, honey. I'm just, I was just thinking about what, what I got to do. She got to look on her face like, you going to cancel my stuff? Um, I got to be back next Monday before it used to be two weeks. Now it's like, oh, five days. Bring your ass back sick. Bring your sick ass back. So I think any way of me being able to transmit it to people was already last week. Ooh, I forgot it for me. Got it. But I had my mask on at work. But that was probably last week. I think I'm not transmittable as of this week. So I'll be back work, work Monday because CDC said, uh, Oh, you sick, so what? If you die, you die. But you're going back to work. So that's that. And so, yeah, we'll see what happens. But I, I know I rambled so much. But we here, we alive. Uh, I just can't pan the camera to Princess. I just, I can't lift my arm to do that. Oh, lastly, thank God I have so many good, like, of course, my, sis, my sister. I... I had, I'm sorry, I had to say it for a second. Sometimes I, I don't like to bring... Your family doesn't put themselves on YouTube. You do. And you... I try to be careful sometimes as far as bringing them up because certain things, if you're talking about, you don't want to say anything about your family because that's personal and yeah. You know. So, but yeah, I say thank God I got a support system like my sister and um, and then, of course, and then oh, my, my, my exes <laughs> and my currents. And all my little stuff I got going on now, everybody's been super supportive. When I put anybody's business out there, Florida Bay has COVID. 
and he he told me I gave him COVID through the inter, through the messenger, Facebook messenger. <laughs> and then another ex of mine, he's got COVID. And then uh, somebody else, another ex, no, no, he had it last year. Um, it's crazy how many people now have it that I know, and then it's just on Warwickon, and then just how many people have been super supportive and said, do you need anything? And you know, X-Bay, you know, little man X-Bay, he, he's just the best. He's just a good guy. I'm, I'm, I don't think I've never not said that. I think I say it a lot because he is. He's going to make me some special soup, and he just like, he's so sweet. Damn it, I wish I liked him like that. I really do. He's such a good man. But, uh, and then another person. And then just, yeah, I have a good system of people set up who have been very helpful and offered me uh, if you need anything. So I will be taking advantage of that today and tomorrow because I cannot get it together. I'm just talking now. I'm not talking about nothing. But anyway, we okay. We alive. I think we're going to stay alive. I don't think we're going to end up in the hospital or anything like that. Uh, bye. Oh, person, say bye. Bye. They can't see you waving. You gotta, you gotta yell real loud. Bye. Okay. You, you, you want to say any other words? No. Okay, that was it. That's all she. Hey, y'all. I don't think I was gonna put a link in for Princess's little YouTube channel. If, you, if anybody wants to subscribe to that, and I'll start putting content eventually when we get out, when, when we uh, leave death door. I'm gonna, I'm gonna figure out how to put that on the community page. Uh, bye. It's going to be a good channel, just about her life, and it's going to be really focused on princes. I don't want this channel to focus on princes. I'll be talking about uh, too much filthy shit, grown shit, these idiots on YouTube doing the crazy shit they do, reporting about them. So I want her channel to be all about her, and I don't want this channel, I don't want her beautiful image polluted by my channel. <laughs> so somewhere in the community feed, I'll put that. Bye.